Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new here. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. I currently have a 10 week old boy. He's actually turning 11 weeks when this video goes up. So he's 11 weeks old soon, which is crazy. So I thought it was about time I did this video and it is my newborn essentials a video. So, little disclaimer, I know that not all of these things are essential, but they are everything that I use personally for our newborn baby, who is basically not even a newborn anymore, but we use these things pretty much daily, and I really wanted to do this list for you. I have done a couple of videos of what I got for my baby, everything I bought for my baby, that kind of thing, and that's pretty much what I'm going to list off to you today, but there's a couple of extra bits towards the end that I mentioned that I actually didn't mention in those videos, so do stick around for the entire list. Got them all written down in my trusty notebook, so let's crack on. Cool, so the first category is sleep. For my eyes. The first thing I've actually got on this list, and it's the basic thing that you obviously need, are baby grows and vests. And in my opinion, you probably don't need anything else but baby grows and vests for your newborn baby. They don't need trousers, they don't need outfits, they literally just need baby grows because they are sleeping constantly and you know what, they're easy to take on and off for nappy changes and stuff and trust me you do that a lot. So baby grows are obviously essential, vests are obviously essential and I really don't think you need to bother with outfits. You'll probably get bought them from your friends and family anyway, they're so cute, don't get me wrong, but you don't need them. I would say 12 vests, 12 baby grows in each size is way more than you need. We were really lucky that George isn't a sicky baby, but if you had a sicky baby, maybe you do need a lot more. So maybe start off with 10 or 12, and then if you need more, you can always go to the shops. Like, don't worry about it. So the next thing in the sleep category is a swaddle. This is the Love to Dream swaddle. It is a zip up one that you can zip up from the bottom, so you can do nappy changes and not disturb them too much, and from the top, obviously, to get them out. They sleep like this, and a lot of people worry about that, but honestly, it's the safest way for them to sleep. Um, that is the way a newborn baby sleeps generally anyway. They won't startle themselves, and I just genuinely think this is the main reason that George sleeps through the night. Everything I mention, I'll link down below. If I can't find the exact thing, I'll link a similar thing. But um, yeah, love to dream swaddle, guys. Massive, massive must. Sometimes when it's super cold, I even put on top a cellular blanket. Just tuck this into either side of the mattress, and make sure that the baby's at the bottom of the bed so that they're not going to like suffocate in this or anything like that. But yeah, so we need a blanket. It's got these little holes in, but it's super, super thick and warm, so that's perfect. We also sometimes use this when we're on the go, so that's perfect as well. And then finally, something that I actually forgot when I bought everything that I needed to buy for the baby, a nightlight. And that is essential, guys. Like, we have some little cheap nightlight from, I think, Argos, um, but I'll link some of these down below. These are super, super cheap, affordable. They're fine. However, we actually ended up buying a better one. That's a Tommy Tippy, um, like, egg one. So basically, you can carry it around. I've actually got that on my bedside table. Use that every single night. It's perfect, guys. Um, I'll insert a clip here of me using it. It's brilliant. I love it. Next on the sleep category is my Cali Nest. So this is actually from a company called Cali Baby or Cali Sleep, but they have this in the baby range. It's basically a sleep nest. Obviously, it's only meant for naps or like supervised naps. Don't like put them in it overnight or anything like that. It's definitely not safe to do that, but. I love this because especially when George was a newborn and he slept a lot, like they sleep a lot when they're newborns, I could just pop this wherever I was, on the sofa, on the bed, whatever, and he was all snug, tight in, and that's what they like when they're newborns, and you can put them down, and you don't have to be huddling, hu cuddling them all the time, which is amazing in the first few days and the first few weeks, obviously, but if you do want to go to the toilet, or if you want to, you know, have a shower, or eat some food, this came in so handy. I would definitely recommend picking one up and this brand specifically. One, I know the brand already and they are really lovely. I really love the company, but also the quality of this is amazing. You can unzip it all, um, put it all in the wash, which we had to do a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but it kept really, really well, washes up really well. And um, yeah, I think this is a really good brand. Also, the price point is a lot cheaper than others that are similar to this. So. Definitely, I think this is a must. Little hint, I might actually be running a little giveaway shortly on the Cali Nest, so maybe don't purchase it if you want to enter the giveaway, but if you're not a lucky person and you don't think you'll win in the giveaway, then definitely do purchase it, I'll link it down below. Next up in the sleep category is Ewan. Ewan the Dream Sheep is a white noise maker, and this is actually the deluxe version. And what that means basically is if you set it to go automatically, if it hears a um, baby cooing, and weirdly, 
it knows it's different like it knows if a baby's cooing or if you're doing it it's so weird like if i i'll try and set it off to go now so if i set it to if i press this button down it's like a on his tummy is the little button press that hold that down little beep just went off now i'm talking it's not going off blah 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 if a baby cries like this ah! how what good is that it knows it knows and you just turn it off if obviously you want you don't want that going on but basically in the night george sometimes stirs i don't know his dummies come out or something and he's stirring around and he's not hungry he doesn't need to feed or anything like that but he stirs he just wakes me up that's all but with ewan i don't wake up because ewan gets it before i have to get it do you know what i mean so this is a must for me. You can get things on your phone that play white noise and that definitely works. I use that during the day a lot, but Ewan helps me get a full night's sleep uninterrupted, guys. That is magic. The last thing on my list for sleep is a crib. Obviously, you're gonna need a crib. We have the Maxi Cozy Iora crib and we absolutely love it. We think it's the perfect crib for George. It matches our decor, or at least it did in our old house. We have like the charcoal color with like the wood accents on it, which I love. It's got storage underneath, which is perfect, especially for the first few weeks and stuff when you're changing nappies in the night, etc., etc. Perfect to have that storage there. We also have extra blankets and things under there. We love the colors of it and it's just an all round basic, beautiful crib in my opinion. So the next thing in this category and the last thing in this category isn't actually sleep, but he does sleep in it and he's actually currently sleeping in it right now. So I am going to mention it in this category. I try to limit how much he sleeps in this because it's not great for his posture, but he's just fallen asleep in it now and he's not going to get sleep for too long. So it is his bouncer and I love his bouncer so much. It's actually an originally from Mother Care. It's called the Little Lamb Bouncer and I actually saw this originally on Carly Drake's um, Instagram and YouTube for her little boy Manny and I just thought it was so cute so I bought it straight away. She got it from eBay and I think they do it on Amazon as well so it's obviously like surplus stuff from mother care that someone's obviously purchased and now is selling on eBay and Amazon I'll link them down below I absolutely love it it plays white noise it vibrates and it plays lullabies it has a lovely little mobile thing and you can take that off as well if you want to it's absolutely perfect I love it then moving on to the next section which is feeding so obviously you guys know that I bottle feed George, so this part is obviously for bottle fed babies. If you breastfeed, you'll probably just skip this because you probably don't need that much kit. But this list is everything that I use to bottle feed George. So first, the Tommy Tippy Prep Machine. I know that this is controversial. Some people hate it, some people love it. It is the best thing I have bought. The single best thing that I have bought. And I bought it second hand. The Tommy Tippy Prep Machine makes bottles within two minutes, and not even, it's never two minutes. It says two minutes on the box, but I swear it's never that long. You literally pop the powder in the amount of powder that you want, pop it under, press the go button, it has a certain amount of ounces. You pop your bottle, it doesn't have to be a Tommy Tippy bottle, it can be any bottle underneath, press go, it sterilizes the um, formula that's in there, mix that so there's no lumps or anything in it like mix that uh, in don't like shake it but like just mix it together pop it back under press go again fills it up to the certain amount of water that you set it to perfect and then you are literally ready to go it is that simple it's a perfect temperature hot shot at the beginning and then cooler water afterwards it's the perfect temperature for your baby george loves it do you know what i mean you literally cannot cannot lose only thing i would say is george started off on two ounces per bottle and the tommy tibby prep machine starts at four ounces so what we had to do was make a bottle make it perfectly separate it into two bottles put one in the fridge and then use that bottle and then warm that bottle up later that was slightly annoying and to be honest i wouldn't want to do that again but obviously he was a small baby he was only taking a certain amount of you know milk anyway now he's up to like six ounces so we do not have that problem at all night feeds with that were incredible they were so simple so easy and if you're a bottle feeding mum you will know yeah i'm not being i'm not making bottles with like kettle water and then cooling it down it would just take forever and you've got a screaming baby in the middle of the night you do not want to be doing that so yeah the tommy tipper machine amazing in my opinion i got my 15 quid on facebook marketplace you cannot lose next up in the feeding category is 
bottles. So I use the man bottles and I think they're brilliant. They're absolutely fantastic. They're anti-colic, which we've never actually had an issue with. I don't know whether that's because we're lucky or the bottles, but the anti-colic bottles from MAM, I think are fantastic. We got this starter kit from Amazon. The starter kit came with four small bottles and four larger bottles. And we've actually recently moved George up to the larger bottles because he's ha now having six ounces, whereas the smaller bottles only go up to five ounces. The starter kit specifically is brilliant. I'm pretty sure that Black Friday will have a MAM bottle starter kit in it. So definitely go down below and click those links because they're perfect for Black Friday. And Amazon have got Black Friday going on like literally this entire week. So definitely, definitely get it. Next up in the feeding category is a basic, but something you need guys, bibs and muslins. So in the beginning, George was tiny and no bibs would fit around him. They were like dangle down and it was just ridiculous. So we were using muslins exclusively. I would just pop them sort of over my shoulder, have them on him and sort of just have it over him, dab him when he needed to be dabbed, etc. And then we have now moved on to like bibs a little bit more frequently because he's not only feeding and sort of dribbled a little bit with the milk and stuff, but also where he's um, teething a little bit, he's actually dribbling a lot more. So this just protects his little outfit and also so, says cute things like I love mummy on it. I mean, I'm not mad at that, you know? So definitely bibs and muslins. We literally didn't even buy bibs. Loads of people gifted us bibs, so I'm really, really grateful for that. My favourite all-time muslins are the Aiden and Lene muslins. I got mine on Amazon. They wash up so nicely. They get softer with time, and I didn't think that was important. I thought I can just get them from Asda, or I can just get them from Primark, but actually, yeah, I think I tend to go for these ones a lot more than the ones that I bought from cheaper places. So yeah, I would definitely say Aiden and Lene. I'll link them down below. Next is our cold water sterilizer. I haven't got it with me, but I'll insert a clip here. Cold water sterilizer, best thing ever. We don't have any other sterilizer. Obviously the man bottles you can sterilize in the microwave, but we've never actually done that. The cold water sterilizer is perfect. You literally just wash all your bottles, pop them in a sterilizer with a Milton sterilizing tablet. I'll link the Milton st sterilizing tablets down below. They're perfect. Pop that in there, cold water with all the bottles submerged. Close that in 15 minutes they're sterilized. It is, without a doubt, the easiest sterilizing system ever it's just there it's quite it's not small it's like i don't know five liters i'd say perfect we absolutely love it it works wonders for us we literally have never used anything else but that and it works brilliantly another thing that we almost forgot actually is bottle brushes so bottle brushes specifically for baby bottles are brilliant i think nook are the brand that we use again i'll link them down below so it's a big bottle brush for the big bottle part and then a smaller little bottle brush that goes in the teat which is perfect because you can never have any like milk powder or anything stuck we didn't want to use just normal sponges and stuff because we always use those on our washing up and stuff so yeah these bottle brushes are brilliant Hi. changing so I thought I might as well just grab this because this is my changing bag this was obviously a central thing a changing bag of some sort or a rucksack of some sort this is actually a changing bag that I got from Amazon it was five pounds guys five pounds however I think that was like a flash deal and I don't think it's five pounds anymore, but I will link it down below if you want this exact one, but there are loads on Amazon. Anything under 20 quid I think is a really good deal. I didn't think I needed to get like, some bougie luxury changing bag, although obviously it would be lovely. Also, inside I have something from Audi, which I could not believe. I absolutely love it. I don't know if they still do it. They do actually do mum and baby events um, quite often actually, so they will have this if they are doing one of those events and it is a travel changing mat so this is a lot from Audi like I said it has this little flap here that you pop um wipes in you just unzip this compartment here wipes are in there and then they're really easily accessible and then if you undo it unvelcro it, it turns into a little travel changing mat which is perfect so so convenient i've changed george you know in the back of the car with this obviously i've got his nappies in there i've changed him at the doctor's surgery i've changed him literally everywhere and if you're in one of those places that has a public toilet type thing with a changing table you can just pop this down so you don't have to put the baby on the you know so yeah i think this is a massive win i'll link some down below i'm sure they do them on amazon and ebay perfect next is a proper changing mat and i will show you mine now this is georgie's changing mat it was literally at 10 pounds from tesco i believe i think it's totally fine i would have loved to have put one of those 
big ones with like the really curved sides and stuff but I it was like last minute I hadn't got it and I really needed to buy one so I just went to Tesco's to get this but if you can um, there are some really cool shops on Instagram and stuff that do really gorgeous ones but this was only 10 quid and it does the job perfectly I'm not gonna lie <laughs> obviously then for changing you also need wipes which are obviously essential a lot of people say to use cotton wool and warm water to change a newborn's nappy and everything we didn't actually do that and we actually used the 99.4% biodegradable wipes from Audi they are safe for newborns they are literally the softest you could probably use these are only 64p whereas the branded water wipes are two pounds a pack which is insane in my opinion so 64p a pack you literally cannot go wrong with these George has never had nappy rash he's never had anything irritated his skin so these worked perfectly for him so definitely recommend trying these out and see if they work for your little one next up is nappies obviously I mean there's not much to say on nappies we've used loads of different ones because we've been sent loads by friends and family and stuff we've used pampers which are really good we've used Audi which are perfectly fine absolutely love them cheap as hell as well I would say if you're on a budget get Audi nappies if you've got an Audi near you they're they're brilliant like they genuinely are the only other thing on changing that I would say is probably a nappy ointment of some sort or a barrier cream. We use the Burt's Bees Baby ointment. It's totally, you know, it's like a petroleum type of jelly. I absolutely love Burt's Bees because they're pretty much completely natural in all their ingredients. But any sort of ointment or barrier cream would be absolutely fine. The next category is a bathing. I really wanna know, really wanna know. So first up in the bathing category, I genuinely think this is like the most important thing. And that is a bar support. And we actually have the Angel Care bar support. I'm just obsessed with this. It's so good. I don't have to worry about George in the bath at all when he's in this. It's super, super comfortable for him. So easy to clean. And I just, yeah, I absolutely love it. It comes in blue, pink, and grey. We got it in grey just in case we had another baby. And obviously, yeah, it's not gender specific. So we got the grey one. I absolutely love it. They are definitely in the Black Friday deals. So I will pop them down below. And this is going to grow with him loads because he still fits in this perfectly. <laughs> Next up is towels. Obviously, you need some baby towels or just some smaller towels. You don't necessarily need separate towels for them. But baby towels tend to be really, really soft, which is absolutely cute and adorable. And they normally have little hoods on them. The ones that we have have hoods, which I love because you can always, when he comes out of the bath, which is all warm and cozy, he gets cold. So yeah having that hood and like wrap it around him is absolutely perfect they're so cheap and affordable definitely think that it's worth getting rather than just having smaller towels which is totally fine if you didn't want to go out and buy specific towels but i think baby towels a must. The next thing on the list is some sort of baby washcloth type thing um, and this is not even just to wash them because you can just pop water on them and you can just use like a sponge like this and grab the water with it and then wash it like pour it over them kind of thing but this is actually to pop over them when they're in the bath so if they're in the bath support for example you can drench this in warm water and then pop it over their body and it's going to keep them nice and cozy in the bath and actually let them enjoy the bath rather than cry george loves the bath when he's got something like this on him keeping him nice and toasty but if he's cold he's not too much of a fan <laughs> next this isn't necessarily a newborn essential, but it is an essential for when they get a little bit older. So when George was a newborn, we didn't use anything on his skin. His skin was way too fresh and new to be putting loads of stuff on him. But when we started to use a soap on him, we actually started to use the Burt's Bees soaps because they are almost 100% natural. I love them um, and I know that they're safe for his skin. He's never had any issues with them. He has the shampoo and wash and he also has the bubble bath. And we also sometimes use the baby oil. You don't have to use this brand at all, but I know that I really like them because they're almost 100% natural. And to be honest, that's pretty much all you need for washing your baby in the bath. The only other thing I would say is maybe some baby safe earbuds because babies get earwax and it's really difficult to get them out uh, other than using those earbuds. But the baby safe one specifically means that you're not going to go too far into their ears. And then let's go into the next category, which is miscellaneous. If I... So I didn't know what to call this category because it's all just the other stuff that you need. And I didn't really, none of it really was a category. So let's just dive into it. These are the other things that I've got. My camera's about to die. So let's smash through these. Okay. So the Tommy Tippy Healthcare Kit. That is brilliant. I absolutely love it. It's got a thermometer. It's got a hairbrush. It's got a comb. Literally everything you could possibly need for your little one to keep them nice and groomed and everything. I brush George's hair once he's out of the bath. Otherwise it goes really frizzy. Um, but it also helps to um, get out any dry skin that might be in there. Obviously I don't brush too hard. The baby brush is really, really soft. Literally everything you could possibly need. A nasal, a nasal aspirator for if they get a cold. 
perfect. Speaking of colds or medicine, let's just say, I've got three things to show you and technically they're not for newborn, but eight weeks on, I guess, um, is when you'd be able to use these things. So first off, we've got Cowpole. We didn't use this until his eight week immunizations and it was a lifesaver. He was not poorly at all. Infant Cowpole, it says two months plus, but obviously if you go and check with your doctor, they might be able to tell you if he is really poorly or he or she is really poorly before um, the eight week mark, then definitely check with your doctor, but I'm sure they'll say it's absolutely fine. We use these before his eight week immunizations and then straight afterwards and he didn't get a fever, so that's perfect. We love this. Little tip with cowpole. Someone on Instagram gave me this and I thought I would pop it in this video quickly because babies basically don't like the cowpole going in their mouth from the syringe. If you've got bottle teats, so the bit that goes on the top, pop the cowpole in the top of the tip and then squeeze it through and the baby just drinks it through the teat as if it was milk. Next up in terms of colds, we've got the Olbus oil for children. Obviously this, again, don't use this unless you have checked with your doctor. It does say infants aged three months to two years. We have used it on George because he had a really, really blocked nose and he couldn't breathe properly. Uh, and we checked with the doctor and he said it was totally fine to use for George. So the Albus oil I think is brilliant. You just dab this on some tissue and then pop it under under a pillow if they've got a pillow. But obviously babies don't have, like newborns don't have pillows. So I just popped it underneath his bed sheet and um, it would kind of, it kind of just simps up. If you know what Albus oil is, you know what I'm talking about. It's good. It's good for colds. It's good for block noses. Next up we have dummies and George loves his dummies. He uses the Bibs dummies. I get lots of questions on them because they're quite like acid aesthetically pleasing. We got it from mydummy.co.uk. I'll link it down below. Next on my list is like baby sensory type book or cards or something like that. So basically anything that's like black and white that they can stare at because obviously when babies are little, they can't focus on anything other than if it's really, really contrast like this. So George absolutely loves this. But if you can't go out and get a book or anything like this, baby sensory stuff, then definitely, definitely, definitely check out on YouTube baby sensory. It's called Hey Bear check that out because they have loads of stuff like dancing fruit and things like that that's got a black background and then a bright color or white um thing like moving around and babies absolutely love this stuff next up on the sort of miscellaneous list is a sling or a carrier so i use the free rider sling or carrier actually you can use any any kind of one i'm sure they have loads and loads on amazon i'll link a few down below the free rider one is so so soft though i absolutely love it george loves it recently he's actually been going facing outwards so he loves doing that when i'm walking around the house doing stuff he loves like seeing everything that i'm doing obviously when he was like really little and newborn he was like all tucked in had his like um face on my chest and stuff and he loved that as well and he would just go to sleep in there it would just allow me to get things done around the house and also it would be quite nice for when we were going out on walks and stuff to just go out out with him on the sling it was quite it was just quite nice but yeah definitely for getting things done around the house youtube videos things like that but also like getting things done like cleaning cooking dinner stuff like that brilliant a sling was a must-have next up pram suits i love these one they are adorable but because it's really cold at the moment they're quite essential i think because not only are they coats obviously on the top half but they also go around their legs and everything and keep them all snugly and warm when it's cold outside obviously we don't use these when we go in the car seat but if we're just going out in the pram and stuff that's perfect normally in the car seat we'll just have him in it in his normal clothes do everything up and then have a blanket over him and then when we get out we'll pop the pram suit on definitely safer to do it that way than the other way but if you're just going out in the pram i think these are fantastic and they look so cute in them two last things and they're probably the biggest things that you've got to buy for your baby and that is a buggy and a car seat so i've had a little bit of a to do with my buggy and car seat because I've actually got two um, buggies at the moment and I love them both equally but for completely different reasons. So I've got the Ickle Bubba V3 Stomp and that is the one that I bought second hand. I bought that with the car seat, the carry cot and the normal just front facing attachment as well. And I love it, I absolutely love it. However, for some reason, the car seat attachment on mine is like really fiddly, it doesn't attach properly and it was really, really annoying. So I actually got sent a baby Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2 from the Natural Baby Shower, which I love. However, for muddy dog walks, it's not the best. It's more for shopping centres, pavements. It's really, really good for that. But if you're not living in a city and you're living in a little village and you're going on muddy dog walks, it's not good for that. So it's like 
one is good for one thing and one is good for another thing. All I can say is do your research on all your prams and definitely just choose one that's good for your lifestyle. I have got two that are good for my lifestyle, but they're two different buggies, which is so annoying. I love them both equally. So yeah, definitely do your research when it comes to buggies. I am actually looking at new car seats um, and we'll let you guys know all on I get. I have got the one that's included in the Equal Bubba sets at the moment, but yeah, we'll see which one I get uh, probably in the Black Friday sales. So guys, I think that's probably everything on my list, I think. I'm bound to have forgotten something. I know I've forgotten something. I did forget something. Dummy clips. Dummy clips, dummy clips, dummy clips. Essential and they look cute. They clip onto your baby's baby grow or whatever they're wearing. And then if they come out, the dummy always comes out by the way, then it doesn't fall on the floor and you don't have to wash it. Dummy clips. If you have something that you think is an essential item that I have not mentioned, please list it down below to help people out because everyone forgets stuff and I forgot stuff. I definitely bought, thought I had everything. I was so, so organised and then I'd forgotten loads of stuff. So definitely hit it down below if you have anything else that you think is an essential item that I haven't mentioned. However, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. Give it a like if you have enjoyed it because it really, really, really helps my channel out. Genuinely, I love doing this and I really, really want to continue doing it for as long as I possibly can. So without further ado, I will love you and leave you. Bye, guys. If I let me figure out